Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brian and my hands is Stargirl, episode one, issue one, whatever you want to call it. It's been out for a little bit in comic shops. The second issue is coming up. I actually picked this off the shelf during free uh, comic book day. I thought it looked interesting with the cover. Wanted to check it out, especially since uh, Star Ward number one came out this previous week, and I was kind of interested in seeing how similar they are. So this is by Lucas Mendoka and published by Behemoth. Uh, so... Basic story from what I can tell there's this group called Star Girls, and they kind of got like wiped out and like broke up. So now there's this gang that is a called I think the Moon Girls. Let me get this right. The Moon Gang, uh, who's attempting to bring hope to the galaxy. Uh, you know, really simple concept. Um, we've seen it so many times. I had no idea what the hell is going on with this first issue. Um, it is choppy. It doesn't flow very well. I'm, I'm going to guess this is a translation of another comic. The translation doesn't seem to be quite uh, quite on point. There's just a lot of issues with with the comic. Um, this is one I like. I was hoping could be cool. I thought it would be really interesting to pick up. Very indie. Not something you'd probably see to cover a whole lot. Uh, and uh, just overall, to say I'm disappointed would be an understatement. To say I'm confused would be an understatement. To say I'm scratching my head would be an understatement. Um, even the art itself is kind of hard to sit there and push. I mean, it, this is one where it's just, it does not click for me, I think, in any sense. And that's totally fine. Not all comics are for people, or for everyone. I think what's interesting is this past week was Star Wars number one, which had a very similar concept. Group of girls um, who uh, fought against chaos and uh, were defeated years later have to go and, and bring hope. It's a very similar idea. Um, Star Ward is so much better in so many different ways, like, I have no problem recommending that one. Uh, this one, I, I struggle. I struggle a lot. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, seriously, it's just, the art doesn't quite do it for me. The cover is actually what kind of sucked me in. I was like, oh, this could be really interesting. Um, it's just something is really off, and I just don't know what it is, especially with a $7.99 price tag. So many other things I would rather get. I mean, the backgrounds aren't interesting. The characters don't seem all that complicated. It really seems like something I would find it like in, you know, an artist alley that I would look at for two seconds and, and pass on. Um, it's just not for me in any sense. And, you know, it, it could be yours. Like, maybe I'm just not, not picking up something and not, it's just not clicking with me, but... Just not working, and that's unfortunate. Um, the second issue is out this week. This has been out for a little bit, um, at least a couple weeks. You can go get it. I mean, hey, your, your dollars. If you're into it, cool, more power to you. Uh, we got a link underneath this uh, video where you can go and find a local comic shop or where you can maybe order this or get it yourself. Uh, we got, of course, links as well underneath where you can hopefully purchase your own copy. I think we'll have, be able to get some links for that. There'll be affiliate links most likely. Uh, so we do get a small percentage uh, of your purchases. There are in the back, there is at least this. There's some cool like character designs. I think that might be the strongest part of the comic. I'm gonna say positive, something positive. The character uh, stuff in the back was actually kind of cool. Very, that at least stands out, yeah. All right, uh, if you were into comics, check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy, keeping it nice and consistent. Until next time, keep reading those comics and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.